Here's the graph of y equals g of x. Sketch the graph of y equals negative g of x. So just like last time, I'm going to underline the part that can be written in a bunch of different ways. And always the first thing I try to decide, is this going to be horizontal or is it going to be vertical? The negative is not with the x. It is outside of the function. Vertical reflection. This means you're multiplying your y values by a negative one. How else could they ask for a vertical reflection? They could say over the x-axis, a vertical reflection over the line y equals 0. So now we are reflecting over this line. Key points, looks like this is going to be an important point. This is an important point. So if this one is one box up, if I flip it over, it would be one box below. If this one is three boxes up, if I flip it over, it would be three boxes below. Notice I didn't use the word units. Because of the, oh, textbook does this sometimes. Does it look like I just went down two? Like down one and then down one again? Right? That seems like, if I would have said that, everybody would have made, yeah, that makes total sense. Should you see the scale on this one is going by twos? So if I would have said go down one unit, I'd actually be lying to you. Because the scale, two, four, six, eight on this one. Okay? Now, when I flip it over, can you see that it would, it'll look like this and look like this. Now, we want to be as careful as possible. So I want you to think, because sometimes they take a half mark off on this on the exam. If I keep drawing the blue graph, which I haven't finished, it's going to cross the red graph somewhere. That point is important, right? If I just close my eyes now and go like that, that's a bad graph. Oh, it's pretty close. <laughs> okay. I try that. I'm, I tried with my eyes closed to draw it bad. I drew it pretty good. They might, I might have gotten away with this on the exam that they'd be like, yeah, it's close enough. But there's a point where it crosses exactly. And that point is right here. Why does it cross perfectly at the x intercept? Add my arrowhead so I don't lose an E9 error uh, because E. Uh, it crosses perfectly at the uh, at, at x equals zero because that is the one spot where you where when you flip it it doesn't move at all. Right, and you're so close. The only thing that was wrong is you meant to say y equals y zero, equals zero. Okay. rather than x. Yes, because if y is equal to zero and you multiply your y values by a negative one, can you see that that's the only time it's not going to change? Because 0 times negative 1 is still going to be 0. All staff that did not have their picture taken, please go to the gym to do so. That's all staff who did not have their picture taken, please go to the gym and get it taken. What was I thinking getting my picture taken? I could have got out of class for free. Students are like, plan for that usually. Bad planning on my part. Okay. So there's our graph. Do we have to do, oh yes, of course we have to do domain and range. Um, this one, I'm going to use this notation. The domain is everything. The range is everything. Same thing with the blue graph. The domain is everything. And the range is everything. You don't want to do math. What have you done to the real SJR? <laughs> Oh, I still want to do that. I was just reminiscing and pretending I was a student, thinking about getting out of class. All right, questions for practice? Circle four, five, six, ten, and eleven.